Welcome once again to Zarufa's biology notes. In this video, we'll be looking at the types of variation. One of them is continuous variation, where we can see here with plants showing a variety of different heights and size of flowers and variation with an, within animals like rabbits with color. Now this variation can be represented by a line graph showing a normal distribution curve and this normal distribution curve is usually for continuous variation. This continuous variation on the other hand for example using blood groups like A, B, A, A, B, O this variation have distinct groups and as a result the kind of graph used to represent this type of variation is basically a bar graph so the bar graph identifies individual entities now during this continuous variation there is no distinct categories There's a, in both extremes you have a range of different values and as a result, it is represented by polygenes, so many genes represented. And due to this, the environment has a large effect on this type of variation. In the case of discontinuous variation, there is a distinct category, or distinct categories, so to speak, whereby you have one gene being involved, and either you have it or you don't have it. And as a result, the environment doesn't have any influence, if at all, on discontinuous variation. Well, let's look now at phenotypic variation, which is a variation that demonstrates the outer appearance of an organism. In this case, with these flowers, you have purple and white. That's the phenotype. Now, this very type of variation is influenced by several different factors. One of those factors is the genotype, the genetic combination of the alleles. It can also be affected by environment or it can be as a result of both environment and genotype or genetic combination. In the case of genotype, it's important to realize that bituminosis or random fusion, this can cause variation of the phenotype, but also in the case of environmental variation, plants can actually grow in the deficiency of magnesium and suffer from the process of chlorosis where the leaves are yellow. But in other cases, the plants allow to grow in the darkness of an etiolation. And finally, the genotype of the body mass can be affected.